Hello grade 9 science class. Uh, welcome back to the final lesson of the unit. This is lesson 13, understanding genetics and genetic conditions. What we're going to talk about today is a little bit of review uh, from what we talked about early on and it is also a little bit of new stuff about some conditions uh, that can affect people that are genetic. You're going to do some research on some of these conditions, uh, answer some specific questions, and we're also going to talk about DNA a little bit. Uh, let's jump right in. So, uh, over the years there's been some major shifts in scientific understandings of genetics. Originally, this guy named Gregor Mendel uh, started off with a really, really good theory uh, where he experimented with inherited traits in pea plants, and he showed that uh, each trait was inherited from the parents. If you bred two uh, pea plants that had purple flowers together, uh, you could only get purple flowers. There was no white flowers or other colors involved. That showed that traits were inherited from the parent plants. He isolated the parts in the seeds that passed on the traits of color and shape. So he was able to, through these experiments, prove that these traits come from parents and that applies now through all sexual reproduction any uh, reproduction that involves meiosis essentially uh, along came Francis Crick and James Watson quite a while later and they used some very interesting techniques to describe the structure of DNA so they showed that DNA is an organization of genes they showed that these traits that Mendel was describing uh, were inherited through DNA and chromosomes. Essentially, these traits were passed on from their parents through this DNA. Uh, the specific makeup of this DNA looked like a twi twisted ladder. Uh, it helped sh explain how a cell could make exact copies. Uh, the ladder comes apart, essentially. You can peel it apart, and each side acts as a template so you can reproduce it. It makes it very, very quick in the S phase of interphase. To duplicate your DNA and again we talk about that in grade 12 uh, biology in more detail so Crick and Watson uh, described the structure of DNA uh, and showed that it had the traits uh, the genes on it that controlled traits the traits were first described by Mr. Grenger Mendel uh, a long while before this <clears throat> Recently, uh, what we've done is called the Human Genome Project. Uh, we have mapped out the entire list of bases for humans, and we, we know that these variations that we have cause different eye colors, hair colors, heights, and things like that. So a genome is the full set of genetic material that makes up an organism. I have a genome, and you have a genome. They are very, very similar to one another, but they differ in specific places and those places determine our traits. Uh, scientists around the world collaborated for about 20 years to identify every gene in the human DNA. One su big surprise was how few genes make up human cells. Only one-sixth the estimated number. We found that there's a whole lot less genes than we thought. Uh, another surprise, how alike the genes of very different animals are. So they're very small changes that can cause very real uh, differences um, in different animals. We have also moved on to genetic engineering, uh, which is a very controversial topic. Uh, it involves changing genes to fit what we want, or to it, this might involve doing tests to find out if an embryo has a particular uh, disorder or not. So scientists are now just selectively taking fertilized eggs with particular genes uh, and implanting them into a female parent. So essentially you can choose what types of genes you want in your uh, baby if you um, use this genetic engineering technique. This uh, is embryo screening to select a certain offspring. So there are definitely some ethical issues that arise from this process. Uh, like is it okay to only choose, make sure that you choose a healthy baby? Uh, is it okay to make sure that they have the same eye color as you? and not um, your other partner. Um, what is okay? That is uh, important to explore. 
some conditions that can be uh, caused by genetics, but and these cannot be cured, would be Down syndrome. Uh, it's re the result of a chromosome mutation. We actually have an extra chromosome if you have Down syndrome. Uh, people with this syndrome have a characteristic facial features, shorter stature. Uh, embryo screening currently exists for this condition, but if an individual is born with th this condition, it is incurable. All of their cells have one extra chromosome, so you can't go in and take a chromosome out of every single cell. It's just not possible. Uh, as you know, genetic, fibro uh, genetic fibrosis, cystic fibrosis is a genetic condition. Uh, you can screen for this condition. Uh, in embryo screening, it's caused by a mutation uh, and you're missing a protein that allows uh, mucus uh, to be made properly. So lung infections occur and breathing is difficult as well as uh, digestion of food is difficult. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to choose one of the conditions given below, hemophilia, muscular dystrophy, or spina bifida and answer the questions, the three questions for it. So you only have to choose one condition, but there's three questions for it and just kind of explore um, how that condition affects people, uh, what the condition is and what some treatments might be. Uh, after you've done that, this is the end of the unit. So you should have completed all of these assignments in your booklet. What I'd like you to do is next time you're in, uh, you can write the reproduction test when you're ready uh, and hand in this booklet so I can see that you've done the assignments. Uh, again, this is the last lesson for this unit, so you can move on to the next one. Uh, and I really appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate the hard work, and I'll have your test back soon, uh, as soon as you write it. Uh, thanks very much again, everyone, and I'll see you soon.